Well, hey, what's up, YouTube? Pastor Matt here, and I've got to tell you, I am super excited because it is now the month of October, my favorite month of the calendar year, with the possible exception only of December for Christmas and March, April for Easter. Gotta love those too. But October is not only my birthday month, uh, but it is also Reformation month, wherein we celebrate Reformation Sunday on the very last Lord's Day of the month of October. And I am particularly enthused this year because, as you may or may not already know, this is the 500th anniversary of Martin Luther's nailing of the 95 Theses to the door of the Wittenberg Church in Germany, thus sparking the great revival that we know today as the Reformation. So I've got my Martin Luther mallet out on my bookshelf. I've got my Martin Luther uh, uh, painting over there beside me on my bookshelf. I may even wear, who knows, the uh, the black gown, uh, the academic gown to preach. Probably not. Uh, but who knows, maybe I will, uh, a la Martin Luther, the great reformer. And for us as Presbyterians, at least here at Faith Church in Brooksville, we celebrate this month with vim and vigor. In fact, we have a Sunday called Reformation Sunday on the last weekend of October, as previously stated, in which we celebrate the great truths of the Reformation, as well as our history uh, as uh, Reformed and Protestant Presbyterians. So what we do in our church is we throw a big party. Uh, we have a huge special worship service. We'll do all kind of uh, Reformed themes in the, in the service. I'll preach on a theme such as justification or sola fide, sola gratia, soli deo gloria, something like that. Uh, we've had bagpipers come in in the past. Uh, we wear plaid for our Scottish heritage, but this year we're focusing in on the German aspect uh, because of that 500-year connection with Luther and the 95 Theses. So we're going to go all German this year. We're going to wear lederhosen. That's right, I'll get the suspenders and the, the long shorts and the cap with a feather in it. We'll do that. Not during church. That'll be after. We'll throw a potluck in which we celebrate our ethnic heritage, uh, not only as Germans, but as Scots, as Irish, as Englishmen, as Brazilians, as Africans, whatever it is uh, that we come from. We'll bring ethnic food to the potluck dinner. We usually have a big games competition out in the yard. Uh, in the past, we've called that the Highland Games, kind of a Scottish theme. This year, it's called the Bavarian Games. Same thing, different name. Uh, it'll be great. We'll do that. Uh, we'll have feasting. We're going to have German-themed music this year. It is going to be an entire festival, and that is, again, on October 29th. Well, what do you say is the Reformation, and why is it worthy of our celebration? Well, let's talk about that for just for a moment. Uh, the Reformation is, of course, nothing other than the reformation of something, as the name suggests. But the reformation of what? Well, we might start with our own hearts, of course, as Christians, when we experience the grace of conversion. We, too, our hearts are reformed after the image of, of Christ, and we, we are justified, and we enter the process of sanctification in which God makes us more and more like unto himself in, in holiness and obedience. Uh, but more than that, the Reformation is primarily about the reformation, the re-again formation molding of the church, and that was brought in uh, by the bold gospel proclamation of men from generations come before us, such as Martin Luther, such as Ulrich Zwingli, such as John Knox, and many others. Uh, and essentially, at the very heart, what makes the Reformation the Reformation is a revival and rediscovery of the great biblical doctrines. And there are five of them that are traditionally celebrated because that's what sparked the revival. Sola fide, we are saved by faith alone and not by works. Sola gratia, we are saved by God's mercy and uh, his clemency unto us, not because of any inherent goodness in our own hearts. Um, sola scriptura, that scripture alone is our only authority, as over against the accumulating traditions of the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, where are we at? Solus Christus, Christ alone, the only mediator between God and man, and ultimately then soli deo gloria, to God alone be the glory. If you believe those things, even if you're not Presbyterian, you can celebrate the Protestant Reformation 
of the 1500s, and especially this year, 500 years since Martin Luther nailed the 95 Theses to the wall of the church, the door of the church. Never read the 95 Theses? Uh, maybe you should. Uh, Luther's theology was not fully formed at that time. Uh, we still don't know that he had a full and complete understanding of the doctrine of justification that he would uh, develop as late as uh, the 15, 1520. He, his own theology was certainly in formation during the time that he uh, posted the theses. But nevertheless, they stand as a marker in history, a delineator between eras, a watershed moment in which Protestantism begins in full uh, vigor and power, uh, continuing on even to today. If you're an evangelical, you have some uh, heritage that roots back to this great event. So what can you do about it, believer? Uh, well, first of all, celebrate Reformation this month. What a glorious time. Second of all, let me recommend a book to you that we're going to read as a church at Faith Church here in Brooksville. Uh, this book is called Beyond the 95 Theses by Stephen J. Nichols, and it is an introduction not only to the life and the events of Martin Luther, but also to his thoughts, his writing, and his theology as well. So I'm going to post a link to this book right here. You can grab this on Amazon.com. Just follow the link. It'll be in the description of this video. Uh, but most of all, attend a Bible-believing, gospel-preaching, preaching, protesting, which means forward-testifying church this month, and especially on Reformation Sunday. All right. Well, hey, that's all I've got for you today. Love you lots. Can't wait to celebrate. If you're in the area, please come to our church on October 29th. Uh, talk to you later. Thanks for checking in. Have a great day.